The Church of the Ascension Timaligue is changing colour again. Let me explain why, plus give you an update on the completion of Phase 2 of our conservation plan. This West Cork hidden gem is unique to Ireland. Marvellous mosaics and stunning stained glass windows hold admirers in awe and help point us to worship our Creator. But sadly, these mosaics have been increasingly under threat from water ingress. A professional conservation plan was launched at a public meeting in 2020. Phase 1 had seen the roof completely restored and renewed. Phase 2 has concentrated on the church tower. This has included the replacement of the decaying pinnacles and, more noticeably, the change of outer colour by reinstating lime mortar render. Yes, these walls were originally covered in render. Only as recently as 1993 was the render removed to reveal the stonework underneath. Here's a wedding photo taken outside the front door before the render was removed. You can just about see the pale texture behind the bridal party. Yes, stripping off the render may at first added further character to the building, but sadly, unbeknown to the experts at the time, removing the outer render has actually allowed water to seep in, which in turn has led to damaging the mosaics. The problem was, as you can see here, when the stonework was revealed, the walls were pointed with sand and cement. Over the years, the cement has cracked, allowing water to penetrate enough to allow weeds on welcome lodging. Even some of the stonework has cracked, as originally the walls were never intended to be left exposed. Phase two of our conservation plan has been to apply four coats of lime mortar to the tower and west end walls. Lime mortar allows the walls to breathe and naturally secrete any moisture out of the walls and away from the mosaics. Yes, it dries out to be a bright white colour, but this is fully in keeping with the natural whitewash finish that was originally meant for this church building. White also happens to be the church liturgical colour for ascension, perfectly in keeping with our church's name. Specialist Coleman Howard, filmed here, explains in stark terms the necessity of reverting back to the limestone render. What we're doing here now is we're putting on the first coat of render, right? The idea of the render is, is to protect the internal of the building, right? You'd point the stone and you'd sandblast it to law look lovely, but you've the great chance of water getting through in long term, which is which is happening. Perfect, yeah. So ideally, you you render the whole thing, which will protect the building long term. Okay. So the more render that goes on us, the drier the building is going to be. You, you you don't really have a choice, you know. Either lose what's inside to keep the lovely stonework, or lime render, and the lime render is the only thing that's going to save it, like you know. So that's 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 it, like. Phase 2 has also seen the stripping of the plaster from inside the tower. This has been replaced with lime mortar as well. The ceiling has been renewed and the walls prepared for new glass framed display boards that will help to inform visitors and tourists about the history and ongoing life of the church. The clock has been restored and the bell is soon to be fitted with an automatic ringer that will chime out the daylight hours and also call everyone to worship each Sunday morning. 
preliminary work and phases one and two have so far cost 214,000 euro. We are really thankful for all those who have contributed to making this essential work possible. Phase three is about to begin and will cost a further 80,000 euro. We have been given a generous grant of 20,000 euro towards this from the Heritage Council. With this money, we can begin to apply lime mortar to the more exposed southern side of the church. However, we still need 60,000 euro to completely restore the outer skin of the entire church. And it would make sense to try and do this all together at the same time. If you'd like to help us with this, no matter how big or small your contribution might be, please do so by using the donate button on our website, timoleaguemosaics.ie. Thank you for your interest in this project. Please share this video to help spread the good news of two phases complete of our conservation plan for what is without doubt a unique West Cork, but getting better known, hidden gem. <laughs>